Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Realms. We are back at Sirenica, and as many of you might have noticed, I have something special in my inventory, and that is this axe right over here. Not that good damage though. It's just a tier 4 axe, 65 to 92 damage. I finally managed to kill a tier 4 and got a drop. Um, my first tier 4 drop on the server. And um, I'm not going to keep it though, because it's not that good. So what we're going to do is sit down in our shop, name it Diamond, and sell it. As you see, we have a ton of tier 3 drops, which I've been farming up. For some reason, nobody has bought them, but sure. Uh, let's put this up for sale for about, I would say, 2,000 or something it would go for. Right, okay, there we go. 2k, 2,500. Let's put 2,500. Yay! <coughs> that is sweet. Hopefully someone buys that, because, yeah, that's not a bad price for a tier 4 axe. And... If we rush ahead, I don't see anybody selling anything on the tier 4 market at the moment. So, if you're the first, we might as well control the market of tier 4 as we control the market of tier 3. And maybe get the most money on the server once again. But yeah, what I wanted to do today was show you guys where I actually got that. And it's a little way down from gloomy um it's in a chaotic area but i don't think people come there much and hopefully we'll manage to sell the tier 4 axe in this episode would be pretty cool to have an extra 2500 to deal with of course we have already like 25,000, but yeah just want to see what tier 4 actually sells for now remember we used to go that way to get our tier 3 now today, what we want to go and do is go to Tripoli. Now, last episode, I was dissing Tripoli a bit because it's all chaotic and stuff like that. But I found a place with his tier fours, but not many people actually go there. So yeah, that's quite handy and neat that we can farm tier four without people disturbing us. And just in case we have some potions on this. And we could probably run away from a Pikea if need be. Don't want to kill anybody, as I said in the previous episode. Right, so it's right through here, and a uh, sandy area starts pretty soon. And we should see some um, tier 2 spawns. After that, we'll find tier 1s and. I mean, not tier 1s, but tier, um, fucking okay, tier 1s, same tier 1s. Hopefully we'll find some tier 4s and tier 3s. Now, also, I didn't want to be under US1 shard, so let's go to a less populated shard, like US7. That's where it put us at the very beginning. Just want to sell this axe on US1, because I project that's where it will sell for the most. But, yeah, you just head up here, I think. I actually wanted to check out this area right here first. Never know what this is. This is caution danger. Apparently there's danger beyond. And there's ironclad gongs coming after me. And they run really fast. <laughs> Not great, but it will work. Uh, more caution danger signs. Okay. I've never actually been up here. It's on top of a gloomy plains. Looks quite neat. Um, goes right through, looks like it, yeah. And what happens afterwards? Maybe this just leads to the actual mountain where I was farming T4, which would be quite handy considering this would be a very easy passageway to actually get there. So yeah, killed my first tier 4 almost. Um, I've killed some tier 4 before, but first tier 4 here and got a drop in one try. I was like, am I going to get a drop? Am I going to get an armor drop or something like that? And I got an axe drop, which made me pretty happy. Don't think it will sell for the price I put it at, though, since it's almost like a tier 3 axe, and it costs more to repair. So, yeah, our tier 3 sword, 
almost does more than that. But you will see, you will definitely see. Also, I promised to get a better helmet, and that's what I've got so far. Um, decreased energy region by 1%, but has got a bunch of other stats, plus some extra HP region. Ooh, this looks nifty. Is this heading to the new area? Hmm, could possibly be. Hopefully this is not the new dungeon though, because I heard the new dungeon in the end contains a very OP mob. I don't want to fight that quite yet. Let's check our zone. We should still be in the wilderness, yes, as we are. Now these, will we be able to get through here? Let's take a look. Um, right, yeah, I think this might be the new area. Only we can't get through. No, I want to fight those pigmen. Looks pretty cool. Tier 3 pigmen holding wood swords. Ah, uh, is nifty. Uh, I wonder how much damage they do. Can we get through here anywhere? Don't want to fall in the of course, that would get us stuck. Might have to do some bot glitching around. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Didn't know the new area was so close. Maybe we'll go exploring that today as well. But yeah, first I want to show you guys the main place where to farm tier 4. And after that, you'll head over the mountains. And yeah, that definitely looks like something from the new area. The ice, icy terrain and stuff like that. And the pigmen, the new mobs. So yeah, that should definitely be something cool to check out. <laughs> Considering they're holding wood swords, I don't know. Are they... Do they have greater hit points with those wooden swords. I wonder, I wonder. Could also be the new instance dungeon that they added recently. I've heard some people completed it uh, some several times. Drops armor, drops gems, like 3k gems or something, which is pretty OP. I uh, don't know how to get to it though, or how to get the keys. Supposedly you need keys to get in, so yeah. Maybe you'll figure that out sometime later and complete it on camera which should be pretty nifty we can't solo it though you'll need some help from others anyways um heading off into the Tripoli plains or that's what i like to call them, starts right off ki chaotic so yeah but only danger about this is that it's in chaotic zone but of course you can always check your surroundings and if any bridges around you by just doing test or something similar to that just typing something in chat it tells you if it tells you that nobody's there nobody's there and you're good to go so I actually um, when I went up there last time I went up somewhere back there I want to check those this town though looks pretty cool I like using sandstone in my builds although I don't use it much um, looks like a lot of tier threes, and yeah, tabs broken. <laughs> if you're wondering, oh, tier four. Wait, oh yeah, tier four. Ah, <laughs> this is this could be bad. Just saying. Hide behind the sides, tier fours. Oh god, this is not great. This is not going good. We might have to use our big health potion right now. Yeah, let's use it. Run, Vav. I'm an idiot. I'm still trying to kill this guy. Good thing I have a lot of reflect on this armor. Oh, shit. This is not good. Oh, this is intense. Okay. My last tier 4 battle went much more smoothly than that. <laughs> that was kind of intense. Had to use a health potion and stuff. Okay. That was kind of scary. Let's 
sneak, sneak, so mobs don't see us, even though they probably will. Let's take a look at that chest. That was so worth it. I always wanted to enchant my chainmail armor. <laughs> I actually can enchant my, um, what's it called, chain helmet with more energy region, which should be quite handy. Quite handy indeed. Server's so wagging a bit, as you see back there. That guy just totally wagged out. And sounds might be a tad bit loud. I noticed that they are loud for me, but not loud for you guys, so... Yeah, <laughs> we'll need to adjust those settings quite a bit. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I am a quite lost person. Maybe we can, maybe we can somehow get up up here. See, see guys down there, demonic skeleton. Who? Okay, yeah, these guys we can easily take down. As long as many don't crowd us and stuff like that. Tough, you're not that tough. Let's actually apply this energy region to a helmet while we have the time, because that will prove quite handy since my other helmet had energy region for as well so yeah now we have a bit more of it to spare and I'm already noticing it in hitting the mobs and stuff like that so yeah nice very nice let's check our surroundings again <laughs> just in case we need to run out and let's continue on through this venture Ah, it looks really dangerous down there. I wonder if I should go down. Because <laughs> that's probably where the demonic skeletons were. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, danger, white, explosives. Guys, is there anything to lose? Yeah, these are the. I've seen these before. Um. Okay, hope he's not here. Okay, that's good. Does this activate the explosives? No. <laughs> Quite disappointing. Hope it doesn't activate them when we come close or something like that. Okay, I think they're good. I heard these areas spawn tier fives sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like pooping my pants right now. These guys know how to get to me. Look, they're tracking me through the walls. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Yeah. That demonic skeleton doesn't sound very nice at all. I'm going to leave this area till we have tier 4. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. Let's not get distracted anymore and let's Again, going on our adventure. We somehow have to get up there. Last time I block glitched. Don't tell anybody. But as far as I know, block glitching is not that illegal. Or at least I hope. If it is, please tell me. Because, <laughs> yeah. If it's a banner offense, I'll stop. Of course. Don't like not following the rules. Iron Golem's up there. Should be quite easy to care of. And there we go. Someone bought our Ancient Axe for 2,500. So we can definitely sell tier 3 or tier 4 for 2,500 if it's crap. <laughs> so that makes my whole voyage already worth it. Just one tier 4 drop can get you a ton of money and gems. That is quite nice to know. Woohoo. Happy about that. But yeah, looks like we can get up using this waterfall as well. So yeah, if we don't use the cheaty route of block glitching, we can use the waterfall to get up the mountain where tier falls will eventually spawn and we can take care of some business and get us some tier 4 drops, get some tier 4 armor and possibly be in full tier 4 by the end of this week since school has just ended pretty happy about that 
no more finals to complete or anything like that. Grad ceremony coming up soon. And I'm going to all replace this episode. In talking, that is. Looks like you can fish here. Nice to know. Good to know. Um, Any way you can get up up there. You'll take a look after taking care of these mobs. Yeah. Okay. Three archers. Not, not that bad. Come on, I've taken care of three archers before. There we go. Actually, two archers. And one... Melee guy. Easy. 1900 HP. Pretty much probably makes the best tier 3 set in the game. Not a full set though. I have 200 HP boots. Um, not wearing them right now because they have one less energy region than these guys. But once I get my cap upgraded and stuff like that, might start start wearing that. Which would be quite handy. Give us some more HPs. What am I trying to do? <laughs> trying to get up there somehow. But not succeeding at all. <laughs> Might need to pause the video and see if I can get up. Or just do it on video. How about that? <laughs> Talk about university classes. There we go. Staircase. Perfecto. And no, <laughs> not going to block glitch. They tried to prevent you from doing it, so why do it? Let's see if we can... No, we can't nifty our way anywhere. We might have to go back and then forward. But yeah, as I was saying, I was selecting the university classes today. Excited to start a uni next year. Going into engineering. But I had a problem. Most of the classes that I wanted were full. And if the classes are full, there's no way to get in. And that's, of course, a large problem for me, because <laughs> I want to complete the university as fast as possible. And, yeah, classes being full definitely prevents you from doing that. And today was a pretty hectic day. had to redesign my whole entire schedule. <laughs> so, yeah, woke up in the morning, went to choose classes. Redesign your entire schedule. It was quite hectic. Had to call the university several times, asking them why the heck my university classes were full. And they were supposed to assign me classes, but apparently they had a change in heart or something. You know, you're supposed to do it ourselves. Fortunately, nobody heard us. I thought that guy was a midget in the background. Going on. Yeah, um, here for engineering, supposedly they select the courses for you, but um, apparently they only give you the course numbers. You have to actually register for them yourself. But when I went to register for those course numbers, those courses were taken, even though I was probably one of the first to go up and register. But, yeah caused some problems. Just a tad bit of a schedule change. Hopefully that won't affect my learning greatly and hopefully I did it all correctly because yeah only first year not engineering students were supposed to know how to do that. <laughs> Doesn't look like we can get up up there where I actually got my tier 3 drop. <laughs> Walking into a tree. Um, I saw some more tier fours down here, so maybe we can take care of those instead. Cause yeah, doesn't look like we will be able to get up on top of that ridge where I sh I block glitched. But everybody does it sometimes, right? <laughs> Gotta do it once or twice. Helps you out sometimes. At times, <laughs> rambling on here, but yeah, let's head up here, and hopefully there will be no more barriers in our adventure. And we arrive at the tier four soon, and we don't die. Hmm, Matt, 
guy seems not easy to kill at all. Let's hope he don't attract all those like five mobs at the same time. Because, yeah, don't want to be fighting tier four with four other mobs on me. Would much rather prefer to. Oh god, that guy is a tier four. No thanks, tier four bow guys, not my style at all. Not yet, at least. Yeah, he he's distracted now. He can probably take care of these tier threes and then go for that tier four. I'll just check up here. Gigantic lizard man, that's tier four. Come down here, gigantic lizard man. I'll kill you. Don't lag. Come on. Let's go. Taking on our first tier 3. And I think he's fully controlled. Unless that tier 3 starts to come for us. God. Okay. Yeah, let's run. Run, Vov. You have the energy region to run, so. Uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a quite a nice thing to have when coming back here. Doesn't look like we got a drop from those guys though. Unfortunate. And I hope this is not lag. Yeah, I think we're fine. Some more tier falls down there. Never knew. Is that a... Yeah, that's a bow guy. <laughs> Didn't want to engage any tier 4 bow guys unfortunately. Quite yet, because... Those are probably the hardest things to kill. <laughs> they knock you back so far. By the time you recover, they are ready to knock you back again. And aimbot, of course, is what they have for their systems. Um, yeah, let's kill that guy. Got some tier three pants, and let's hopefully controllably kill this tier four. Now, by controllably, I mean we hold him in one corner. He doesn't hit us one time. Yes, success. Two twenty-five pants, five hundred more gems. Or at least I hope. <laughs> Nifty. <sighs> Alright. I don't know if we want to keep doing this till we get a tier 4 drop. We'll go explore new areas. But let's kill at least two more tier 4s or something similar to that. And that's giant. Okay, giant's not bad. Gigantic is the one that's awful. <laughs> Gigantic lizard men are the tier 4s, of course. These guys are just macerating me today. Yeah, like 50 that. Oh god, 700 HP left. Never good to have that low amount of HP. Right. I think they're good. Definitely good. We killed two tier fools. Finally. Haven't checked that in a while, so. A good thing that nobody has sneaked up on us but I am really tempted to go and kill that tier 4 they all come for me great let's eliminate that tier 3 archer and then we can go probably down and kill that tier 4 and prepare to run if we don't or if he can't. Wag, lag, 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 lag. Lost 200 health. Yeah, never like the lag. <laughs> if a reset, if it resets me, that's never gonna be good. Best people in the mountain. Or, what does that say? Oh, those are ironclad gums. Yeah, ironclad gums always roam the mountains. If you guys haven't noticed. Wasn't there a sword tier 4 down there? Well, I guess not. Should we do it, guys? Should we? Guess we shall. Take that. Take that. Take that, dude. Take more of that. This is really good for you. It's like medicine. There we go. <laughs> Professional tier 4 elimination. Only no job yet. Not as lucky on camera as I am off camera, looks like. But, yeah. 
I think I'll keep farming these tier 4s after this episode. Hopefully get us some tier 4 armor drops. And probably going to do differently. Record every drop I get or something like that. But yeah, I wanted to explore that new area. And let's see if I can find it. But for now, I think this is it. Hope you, you guys enjoyed. Finally get into killing some tier 4s. Not on masses, but but it's something. Definitely something. And uh, that was a weird noise. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.